Hey guys, it's Zach here. It's 11.43. I was just doing another video, so I'm in the same clothes. But I thought I'd make this one shorter and make it a coffee chat. Because as everybody knows, coffee makes everything possible. I thought this thing said better. Possible. <laughs> okay, so the projects that we have coming up here... Um, if you guys have seen, I've made garage videos in the past. Um, my garage is the two stall workshop area. It's like a probably eight by twelve or eight by ten work work area with the uh, um, workbench in it. Um, right before that, there was a big shelf up high on the wall. Um, I have ten foot ceilings, so it was like a two three foot opening, about two three foot wide, and it was there. The previous owner must have used it for storage or something. Well, the day that I had my accident with my back, I was um, messing with the shelf. I unscrewed all the top supports and uh, I unscrewed all the top supports and I was going to knock it down, but it was, it's, it's screwed in on the back and I didn't know it. So I'm like, it was just hanging there. I'm like, what the hell? And I was going like this with the bar, trying to do it. I noticed my back got kind of like, no, nah, you know, okay, I'll, I'm taking it easy, but I don't want to push it. So then um, that's when I went and did the vacuum and blew my back out. So I don't know if it was from the shelf or the vacuum, but that's somewhere in there is when it happened. Now, it happened when I was doing the vacuum. I don't know if the shelf had anything to do with it. Okay, because of that, I have not touched the shelf since, and it's been, what, two, three months? It's been a long time. <clears throat> so, um, finally I was out there, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to knock this dang shelf down, because I don't got time. I need to hang my canoe up there. It's in the middle of winter. I'm not parking in the garage. It's BS. So, <laughs> I uh, get up there, and I knock that thing down, figure out how it works, knock it down, it's down in pieces um, and now I have to figure out how to put the canoe up there so right now how it sits I have the trailer in the garage I have the big green bagger bag full of stuff in the garage and then I have the canoe on top of the trailer with um, decoys on top of that kind of stacked up in there now I can push the trailer all the way to the back and like in the work area and get my car in there but the canoe is too long so the canoe has to get hung up like I wanted it in the first place and that green bagger bag has to go which is going to cost me $130 for them to come out pick it up and be done with it now what have I thought of doing going out in the middle of nowhere and dropping them off no okay um, I've seen people do that and it just doesn't apply to me you know it should go to the landfill waste no one should have to deal with it. It just shouldn't be anyone's problem. Um, so there's that. So the bagger bag has to go. Waste management comes out and picks that up. Um, what else am I going to say? Okay, so the canoe, I have to figure out how to get it up there. Problem is, I already tried to do a single pulley on each end and crank it up but it's too heavy of a canoe. It's two person fiberglass with aluminum gun rail. 17 foot aqua, I wanna say aqua craft or aqua something canoe. And uh, it's a heavy thing for one person to lift. It takes me all my might to lift it. And I consider myself to be above average for strong um, because like my, what I do for work, it's a heavy canoe. Durable canoe, nice canoe. You know, it has the weight so you glide, but it's a beast. <clears throat> so, doing research online, I've seen people using a double, kind of like a double. They put a pulley up top, pulley on the canoe, or sorry, they put a uh, solid mount, goes down to the canoe, which is a pulley, goes up to a pulley, across to a pulley, down to a pulley, over to a pulley, to the hitch point, you pull it, raises it up. The more pulleys you have, the easier it's going to lift. Um, 
So I need to buy more pulleys because I only got two pulleys. And I need to figure out a way because the way I seen it, the canoe went up front end first and then back end. So you're still always pulling a ton of weight. And there is flashing lights at the end of the road. What the hell is that? It's so foggy I'd show you guys, but you probably couldn't see. Backing up. There's always flashing lights at the end. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, regardless, I have to figure out a way to get the canoe up. Now comes the second part. The canoe, I thought originally I would lay like against the wall with uh, the belly of it sticking out. So the canoe will be like, you know, you're the wall, it's just sitting on there kind of long ways. Then I thought, well, if I put it up, um, if I put it up on like the shelf, like if I build like a shelf system, I can put it up there. And both of them, it's like, I don't know how I'm gonna do the pulley and stuff. So I don't wanna mess with that right now, but I do want to figure something out. Um, I, need, I need to figure something out for it. Um, so once the canoe is off, then the trailer is free. Then I can push the trailer back. Then I also need the trailer free because I don't know if the people that have the bagger system, I don't know if they can come in the alley. So I might have to hoist that up and set it on the trailer and then bring the trailer around front and then they can pick it up off the trailer. So. That's another thing too. I would drive it all the way to the dump, but I don't think the car would make it through the dump because the videos that I see, you're driving through the trash. <laughs> I don't think the car will make that. Um, and I actually don't know how much weight is in there. It's about two yards of small, small pieces of uh, roofing material. So I think it's probably pretty heavy. There's the ambulance. Great. Always an ambulance at the end. Um, okay, so uh, once the bagger's out of there, that, that'll be like tons of space. We'll get the canoe put up, that'll be good. The trailer pushed back. I can park my car in there all the time. It'll be just how I want it. Next year, okay, the trailer's gonna be coming out. We're gonna redo the fence, it'll be six feet high fence. Matches the neighbors over here. Um, in the back, in that my alleyway, it's my garage, fence on both sides. This is like a little four foot picket fence, so you can see right through it. That area there doesn't get enough sun to grow grass. It's about six to eight feet wide, so there's really nothing you can do over there. Um, but there's a big rock in the ground that needs to be dug up, rolled out of there, because I was gonna park the trailer over there, and as you guessed it, the rock, the trailer, had to go over the rock, which I was able to do, but it wasn't what I, it wasn't as easy because to get it in there, I have to do it by hand, and when you're trying to hand push the trailer over the damn rock, it's annoying. So, um, two things can happen. The rock has to go, or I get a Harbor Freight folding trailer. Both are great ideas, okay? Regardless, I want the rock to go because that is going to eventually be a very nice storage area or whatever it may be um, so then I'll have a six foot fence the reason I don't want to put the thing back there right now with the four foot picket fence is the city requires you to have a permit on a trailer that's sitting that's uh, that sits back there you have to have like a permit for a parking spot which I think is unbelievable because it's like you live in the city, like let people just be people and have stuff. Like I understand if you got a couch in your yard or something crazy, but if it's a trailer and it's like parked nicely, why are you why are you trending on me, you know? It's like back off. So <clears throat> with the six foot fence on the back, and then up front there's another four foot picket that's angled. We're gonna dig another post, put an eight foot and or a six foot and a six foot. So then essentially the whole entire backyard is gonna be a six foot fence. If a city inspector wants to come and like, you know, peek over the top, that's fine. But 
I don't want my neighbors complaining that like, oh, we are looking at blah, 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 and it's annoying. <clears throat> Another thing I thought is I'm going to put, I could put two posts back there and build like a new hanging rack that would go just right over the trailer. So you back the trailer in and just over the top is a canoe. I think that's a f mighty fine idea too. But I can't dig holes when there's three feet of frost. So it has to wait anyway. So I might as well hang the canoe in the garage in the meantime. I still got six months. <laughs> so um, we're going to get that all figured out and taken care of. We'll get the fence done. It's going to cost me about six to eight. I'm going to say right around $700. It's going to be about $550 for all the pieces of fence. And then I have to buy one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four of those four by four posts and a hole in a hole digger um, to get the extra pieces because I'm going to push it all the way out to the alleyway and. Um, and I have to dig the one in over here. So we'll get all that taken care of. It's um, all legal. I don't need to pull permits for it or nothing. I have permission from the landlord on that side to rip down his old fence. I put in my fence. Um, so it'll all be good. It'll be taken care of. <sighs> so then the backyard will be its own contained unit. Um, the nice thing is the six foot fence on this side is going to be great because we're always walking back and forth and I always have to look into their yard for whatever reason. And they do the same to me. They look in the, my yard. And Phoenix will have a good area to run around and, uh, and, and I'll be able to do stuff back there without really getting the scrutiny of them. They do live in like a two story though so they can easily see out if they're on their deck or whatever but I don't have to look at their junky yard. Don't they say tall fences make good neighbors or fences make good neighbors or something like that um so i'm talking so much i'm getting lightheaded this winter i wanted to do the carpet and the linoleum in the house i don't know if i'm going to get around to it been a lot going on and Stuff like that, but the fence I want to get done, it's going to add a security level to the house and uh, stuff like that. So that's what's going on. Thanks for watching, guys.